life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and today I'm behind the scenes of the So You Think You Can Dance photo shoot. Oh, well, we started dancing already, we're, huh? We're dancing. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I think you guys are making like history, right? First brother, sister, yeah. on the show. It's, at the same time. Yeah, like when I first made it, I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I got, I was so happy and excited, but like right off the bat, I was nervous and scared for my yeah. sister because it's extremely rare to have siblings on the show. At the same time, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's never happened yeah. before. So the moment she made it, I was like so relieved. I called my parents, yeah. I was like, we're breaking history. It's, it's insane, right? How did you guys find out that you guys both made it? Did they like separate you two or did you, were you guys both in the same room at the same time? No, so they actually just, you, the boys find out first and then the girls go through the same process, but they would not let me peek at all. They're like, we can't let you see if your sister made it or not. So I was like, extremely nervous it was like i was more nervous for her than i was for myself yeah. yeah what did you guys do when you both found out that you're both on the show uh we ran to each other and we just gave each other the biggest hug and it was like the, the ugliest crying you'll ever see i swear all you're like i was like oh my gosh and i'm crying too but it was such a beautiful moment because yeah it was just such a beautiful moment because it was just like like the real realization that our dream are that our dreams are coming true so are you on the show with your with your siblings, yes right? me and Ezra we're siblings we're thir 14 months apart we both dance ballroom it's been crazy like I don't know my family's in like cloud nine right now <laughs> how does that feel to be going through this process with your brother oh it's it's been so comforting because he's my best friend and I know he has my and good intentions at heart so I know that He'll always be there, you know? So it's, it's nice having him with me. One of you guys are gonna take it home then, right? <laughs> oh my God, no. If they do that, if we're like, like let's say that we made the final two and they have to choose, like, oh my gosh, that would be crazy. No, but whoever goes the furthest, I'm gonna be happy. What style of dance are you looking forward to tackling the most? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to actually showcasing my diversity in styles. I'm from Miami, so there's those Latin roots in me. But I'm here as a contemporary dancer, so it's definitely that mix of everything that I'm really hoping I can showcase. And why was now the right time for you to audition? What made you be like, okay, I'm going to go for it? So um, I've always said like, oh, when I turn 18, I'm going to be on So You Think You Can Dance. Um, so I had got a text and it was like, do you want to try for So You Think You Can Dance? And I was like, no. Like, this is not true. I like locked my phone, opened it again. I was like, is this really there? So it was actually there. So I was like, oh my gosh, I would love to. I was so nervous. So um, it's it's hard. It's TV. Um, but I, I was like, I can do this. I've always dreamed of it. So look, let's, let's try it. I've worked really hard. Um, so I felt like I could do it. I felt pretty confident. Are you ready for the live shows? I am. I'm so excited for the live shows. Um, a lot of people watching, but I'm used to that type of audience. I've been a competitive dancer since I was seven years old, so I kind of have a feel. Um, I feel like it's going to be way more people, but I feel like it just motivates you to um, try even harder. What are you looking forward to the most throughout this whole journey? So what I'm looking forward to is working with the choreographers and and not only to pick up how they are in the dance world, but also how they are as humans. Not only I feel like as a dancer, I should be learning about dance, but I feel like I should be learning about being a human and about being a better human. So picking up on like just little stuff, manners and, and positive energy, I feel like will go a long way in this process. Is there a specific choreographer that you're looking forward to working with? Um, Yes, uh, Talia Fabio, which we already had, contemporary, yeah, yeah, just her stuff, intense, but it, it's really worth the push. I feel like she was able to give a different insight, um, a different insight in dance. It was a lot more emotional, and it, it just made me bring something out that I didn't feel in, uh, in the hip-hop realm, uh, due to hip-hop was, like, more saucy, but you see Talia really brings out, like, the emotional and, like, the story side, and I'm really looking forward to working with her. Well, that's a wrap for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.